giant tree fell down did almost no damage at all and so we're super lucky on that but it's going to be an awful lot of work to uh to clean this thing up considering how big of a tree it is and we'll just start right here and just cut these branches and then cut these branches down there and then and so on but this is probably not the end of it we so I made progress on getting the branches down off of uh, the upper part of the deck here. It was just a little bit of minor damage. Here's all the branches. I've got more work to do down there to clean it up. You can see where it comes from over there. The one that I'm really concerned about is right here. It's this really big tree. It's going up right there. And if that falls, that's going to come down and it's gonna hit our lower deck. It could smash here. I don't really care about these ornamental trees that much, but the edge of our deck, there's our garage, house. Could do a lot of damage. So that tree needs to be taken out. So this is the base of the big tree. There's some dirt separation right here, but who knows when the mass is too much for it to stand up anymore. It is leaning significantly. The tree looks healthy. The other one looked healthy too, but it still fell. But it clearly looks like there's some dirt separation happening. So hopefully it's not going to be an issue. So from here we can see the other tree that came down. You can see where it hit part of the deck there and then down below it also broke some things on the deck. You can see where the tree fell, where it came from. It was also leaning pretty severely before it fell. And now from this perspective you can see this other one, how much it's, it's leaning. So the real big tree that we're concerned about is this one. Watching it, there is a crack in the soil at the base, but making progress on getting the other one out that, that fell down. If this one falls, it's going to smash our little creek deck right here and hit our house. So this big tree really needs to go be brought down safely. So progress is being made. Got it all down from up of there, off of there. <sighs> Mostly on the ground now. Cut, you can see the main trunk of the tree where it came from. And then there's that one. And considering that this one went down, you know, <laughs> Makes us wonder about that one too. So it's taken a number of evenings of work to get this tree taken care of. You can see the leaves are dead on it now, getting it cut up. But you can see over here, it's still alive. It was alive when it fell. It's still healthy, plenty healthy right there where it's across the creek. And so that's why we're so concerned about that one because it's exactly the same conditions on that hillside as that one was. So that tree really needs to come out because if it falls, it's gonna hit the house. So we got the branches and the wood cleared away from the house. So that reduces the fire hazard, which is good, but we got a pressure wash here. I'm going to do maintenance to the septic tomorrow. But it's a lot better. Still, you can see the big tree and this is its branch, which is still plenty alive. And there's the big scary one again.